Hi guys, Fozzie here. Um, welcome to another edition of Fozzie at Home. Well, whether you like a movie or not, now, I was, I recovered a, I saw a movie several years back, I think. Whether I like it or not, I don't think it deserves the praise it got. I mean, especially when you consider about how many bad comedies get made these days. I really don't think it's fair that this movie has been criticized for the way it is. No, I'm not saying I like this. I'm not even saying it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I'm simply think, saying, as a fellow actor, I really think that Adam Sandler was just trying to entertain people with this flick. I think there are far worse movies worthy of really, you know, the Razzies in this. So, let's look back at Jack and Jill. Well, Jack and Jill starts off with Jack's sister, Jill, both played by Adam Sant Sandler, comes over to visit him. It's supposed to be a cup for a couple days. But, like, then after that, like, J Jill has it, says she doesn't want to leave until she meets somebody, right? As a way to kill two boys with one stone, Jack has an idea to, like, to get Al Pacino, who has a crush on her, to come to c go out with her, right? For that, after that it happens, she eventually wants nothing to do with Al Pacino. Throughout the whole time, Jack gets nothing but annoyed at what's, what's happening with Jill and tries to get ri rid of her. Well, uh, eventually, I think, then Jack has to, has to set, set, make it so she goes on this cruise and meets with Al Pacino. When she won't go, then Jack, and I admit this is where it gets a little stupid, has to dress as her, right? Now, eventually, though, Jill does meet somebody, and I think it leads to a pretty good scene involving, involving, like, this, where, where Jill eats all this Mexican food, and it doesn't agree with her, and it's like the fourth time she eats it, and I really tend to like it, this. When this movie was made, it actually received some, such poor reviews, People were made, made that it made as much money as it did. Now, I don't think it was necessary to give all the, this movie all these raspberries. Why? Well, for a couple reasons. First of all, lately I've been wanting to see a comedy, right? There's barely anything. The only good comedy I've seen was Ride Along 2. Thankfully, that movie did good. But consider what we have. We're supposed to laugh at Robert De Niro playing a, an old man who wants to sleep with a college student. There is nothing funny about that. And, like, that doesn't even seem like as bad an idea as, like, that movie that came out recently with Seth Rogen. Where he goes, that it's a Christmas movie where they go somewhere. Now, I want to accept that Seth Rogen's movies aren't, aren't something to write home about. I guess that Seth Rogen has a dark sense of humor. But this was bad even for a Seth Rogen movie. And the thing is, like, am I supposed to be sympathetic to this movie? Seems like there's so many sympathetic parts throughout it, but... The reason why I hate it is just because of how dirty it is. Or like, consider like half the movie Will Ferrell makes these days. Will Ferrell is a funny guy and like, I really love his movies, right? I love Will Ferrell, the man the genius, right? But like, he, he doesn't need to make, no, he doesn't need to make he, these movies like coming out where, where he's like, well, you know, even look up any of these. Am I supposed to laugh at the idea that a, 
A stepfather who's trying to be nothing but nice to his kids doesn't doesn't like them. Um, but like, the reason that gets me is this. I tend to think that this movie and perhaps most Adam Sandler movies, maybe excluding That's My Boy and um that and most movies he makes with Drew Barrymore. I'm not saying I like any of his movies these days. I'm just saying there are a lot of mo movies I think he makes where I could see something. He just, I think, wants to make movies like Ed Wood that people remember. Is it his fault they're bad? No. So, I really would like to have high hopes that, like, this movie, like, even if it doesn't get, ever get good praise, will, will at least stop getting the, pr getting Adam Sandler made fun of, you know? Now, do I recommend this? Well, if you want a movie for who Adam Sandler is, a movie to make you laugh, I definitely recommend Stay In This. I even saw this and, and really don't know why I went. But if you want a good, wholesome movie that features a lot of pretty good guests in it, I recommend seeing this. That really is a wholesome message in this, and I got that after it. It's nice to see comedy that still have wholesome messages, and, you know, this is one that worked. And, I, now, that maybe the wholesome message doesn't make up for all the rest of the crap in it, like... By that logic, I'd say the same thing about most Seth Rogen movies, but but this one, I'm not going to. So, thank you guys. You have a good day. Arrivederci.